Fulcher of Galair, welcome back everybody. I'm just going to talk about, I suppose, when I first got into lifting weights a lot and um, my progress, how that was five years ago, whatever it might have been, eight to five years ago, and how it is uh, now. So before I knew about a lot of my food allergies and tolerances, I did avoid a lot of foods that I was uh, intolerant to. So, for example, when I was a kid, I'd never have milk in my cereal because I figured every time I had milk, I feel really, really unwell. So I didn't have milk in my cereal. So my diet generally, if you're if you've seen my uh, my about page, you'll see some of my results and my before and after pictures. My diet for that period, that year, was mainly rice, chicken, fruit and veg, which is still my diet today. Now, back then, I would have eaten a lot more bread. I would have actually had butter in some things. I would have had, I would have eaten out a lot more in terms of, you know, getting the odd bag of chips and the odd burger, the odd, you know, again, the odd sandwich and things like that. So, you know, I, those are things I don't have anymore and that period when I was lifting a lot of weights eating a lot of food sticking to rice chicken fruit and veg fruit and veg it became very uncomfortable after a while because I knew I had to eat so much food to get you know to get bigger so if you want to get big you obviously have to eat eat big so I was eating a lot of food to get bigger and what I was doing is every so often I'd be having my bread or my dairy or nuts or eggs or fish and my throat would be getting narrower and narrower and narrower so my throat would be here and it getting tighter and tighter and tighter and to be honest by the end of that transformation it was very uncomfortable for me to maintain the amount of food I was eating daily. It wasn't uncomfortable to eat food, but to eat the volume of food I was eating, which I needed to eat, it was becoming very uncomfortable because my throat gets quite narrow when I'm eating foods I shouldn't be eating. So, for example, when I'm eating bread. So back then, I didn't know about these intolerances and uh, allergies to certain foods. So at the end of that process, it was uh, quite uncomfortable. I don't think it's something I definitely couldn't sustain for more than... You know, I mean, I'm talking six months during that transformation. Like, I could have probably put on more muscle during that transformation. It's just I hit a couple of um, real walls during that year where I just couldn't eat any more food. I needed to give myself a break from eating so much food because my throat was becoming so uncomfortable. Nowadays, I have cut out the majority of the foods I would have eaten back then that I shouldn't have been eating because I know which foods I'm allergic to and intolerant to. And now, even though I'm not bodybuilding uh, as I was before, I have, you know, far more control. My throat is 100% better. Uh, eating food is far more comfortable. And I feel like you know, if I was to try and do another transformation that I, I, I'd actually put on, I'd be far more successful this time around because I'd be able to manage my throat and my digestive system better. So um, that's just a kind of an insight into that snippet if you're on my uh, about page. And yeah, the kind of changes that I suppose the a, the RAS test and the dust mite covers have given me and they're in other videos as well. Uh, I'll link them in the description below. All right, see you later.